to Miss Hell's Cupcake here, and I'm going to do a sketchbook video since I don't intend to take all this with me for Christmas break. Um, I skipped a couple months for sketchbook videos, so this is going to be the makeup. Um, I'm also going to do a little art haul. Uh, let me move this. It's a, it's a World War II book. I'm really interested in World War II, so... I'm not crazy, I just, I find it really interesting, um, how one man could have done all that to all those poor people. Um, you know, some people tend to be historical nuts on one of them. Okay, firstly, yesterday I had to go and get another pack of crayons because the heater over here apparently was turned on to five, and it melted them, like, it melted them all the way through the tubes. It was the saddest day of my life. Um, uh, in my art education course, uh, we have to do these, like, we have to make things that pertain to a culture, so I picked, like, Turkish book binding for the purpose of, like, if a teacher, um, like, if a student cannot afford a sketchbook or something, all they have to do is just put some papers together and they can stick it in a book like this. And there you go, you have a sketchbook. Not to mention, I've always wanted like a really pretty sketchbook, and I know how to make them now. Only I simplified it, and instead of sewing it, like you're just you just like put yarn through some holes, and you double tie them so that they really stick. And see, it's pretty cool. So I'm probably going to make another one for some people for, people for Christmas because, you know, I'm a broke college kid. <laughs> um, if you want to know how to make these, uh, please tell me and I can send you my lesson plan. And you can follow step-by-step -step instructions how to do that. So, and I got this tone tan sketchbook. Um, I haven't done anything in it but draw on this dude's face. He had the creepiest looking face. So, I really wanted to want to see the effects that I'll get out of it because one of the drawings for my uh, advanced painting class over there is actually on um, Crayola brown paper, and you know it looks pretty cool. So and then I got this giant mixed media sketchbook, mostly because I really love this sketchbook. Um, even the smaller ones are awesome. Uh, it holds a lot of stuff, which is like, for me, like, I love to do markers, painting, uh, watercolor, pencils, basically anything I can get my hands on, so. And I got some Sharpies. Oh no, Sharpies. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. I love you, Sharpies. Why? Okay. So I got some different colored Sharpies. Um, mostly because the Copic ones are really expensive, and they don't have all these really cool colors, like, they may have some of them, but, um, Sharpie has really improved their work quality. Um, I put some Copics over some Sharpies, and it didn't, it didn't bother them, I guess as long as you don't use the black one. And I got, like, four Copic liners, different colors. I got sepia, green, wine, and cobalt, which I am loving the cobalt. Like, I'm all about blue, as you can see. So, like, it's starting to be, like, easily one of my most favorite colors. Also, Sharpie has a purple one. Uh, purple is my other favorite color. Um, and, let's see, also the markers. I love my markers. Um... Awesomely enough, I'm taking illustration class next semester, so I'm going to be getting a big set of sketch markers. Um, mostly because they hold more and I'll want to do my own project, so. I don't think you guys have seen this. Okay. Even though I don't need it, I got my first Copic refill, which is Moonlight, and I don't think you guys have seen this one. Um, uh, by that I mean, like, I had gotten it after my first Copic unboxing and with all these other um, colors. So I got Moonlight, which is easily my favorite color in here. Ice Ocean, 
a lot of people really like this color. I have it in Chow, but I really wanted it in Sketch. Um, honey. I don't know if you've seen this. I have a sea green one, or a sea green one. Oof, I can't talk today. Dark red. Milky white, which is really awesome because one of my characters is super pale, but not, um, not eggshell pale. So, and then I got a colorless blender. Um, mostly because the one I had in Chell ran out so quickly. So I'm probably going to get some solution now for this. Um, gels and all are actually pretty good for beginners. Oh, I also got an iris one. Yeah, don't forget that one. It's really pretty. Okay. But the gels are good for beginners. I really like them. Um, the only reason I'm getting a ske the sketches is because I know these don't hold a lot and it'll be just enough for my personal projects. I know these will hold a lot and they'll be just enough for my schoolwork and my personal projects. So, you know, and um, I don't know what sketch set I'll get. I'll probably get A because I like all the colors in there. And then we'll go from there because I'm not a rich kid. <laughs> Let's see, okay, let's start with my artwork. I'm going to, it's going to be like a mess. Um, I'm going to go schoolwork, da 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 da. Um, I think you guys have seen all of this, but this is my drawing two stuff. Um, funny thing, I actually took drawing two before I took drawing one. Um, if I had taken drawing, two, drawing one before drawing two, it would have been a lot better. Um, this is gift wrap, apparently. I can't take it off. Uh, and all these exercises are, were really helpful and they really helped my work go. Um, so, yeah. And I'll try this is all for the only reason I like it is because it's a paintbrush. Um, a lot of people don't like it, but drawing from lines can really help you. Um, develop your own style, I guess. Um, I once read from someone that style is developed when someone cannot do it right. Um, not cannot as in they can't, absolutely cannot do it. It is they won't. Uh, they don't want to. Um, right now, I have not seen Frozen yet and I desperately want to. I'm working on this illustration of Elsa, the Snow Queen. Um, I used Copics for her skin and I'm working uh, on her hair with crayon because I think it would look like the texture looks good. So, and you guys know how I feel about crayon. Um, here is my crappy sketchbook that I just take to classes and whatever comes to mind I do it. Like sketchbooks don't have to be perfect. They just have to get the point across. And here's where I'm kind of working on the idea of circus. Gotta hurry up for this. It's too long. I'm just going to flip really quick. Uh, big fan of Monsters University. <laughs> That's my character. Okay. I'm a really big fan of him. Another character for Monsters University. Naked people. Ponies. Like, this is around October. Monsters University character. I hadn't worked with pencils in a while. And I wanted to see if I still had it, so. Oh my gosh, gore alert. And this is my pony character. Her name's Cherry. She makes, um scary things for the purposes of like movies and nightmare night. There's more character planning, Inktober stuff. I really wanted to draw my fan troll in a cheesy Christmas sweater and as a pony. <laughs> so. Oh, 
one more Maya Tony. My character Ophelia. Ignore that. It's like a comic with a friend. And here is, excuse the language, more ponies. Working on perspective. Not quite perfect yet, but I'm really, really, really working on it. Um, yeah. If you don't like, like, Yuri and stuff, and peerings, and all sorts of chippings, then you probably should not like my videos. And there's some sketches of characters. This is my friend's character, as Alice. Someone else's character is the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. And my two OCs, Coralie and Jest. Coralie's not wearing the mask here. But Coralie and Jest is the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. They're twins. So here is my failed Amethyst. Um, I did more drawings of her. <laughs> and they look a lot better. And here's some character planning of my character Thoth. Um, he's an original character, but I drew him in, like, the Harry Potter verse because I'm really on a Harry Potter kick with my friend. Um, I do, a, I do a lot of RPing with him, so. Let's see what I got in here. Oh, this is what I put that in here. Tumblr drawings. I'm still working on his pony. I just haven't had the time to finish it yet. But, yeah, he's buying from Cherry. And then they're bro-hooping because, you know, be nice to your customers, don't come back. Oh gosh, this is my planning sketchbook. I don't know if I should show that stuff in here. It's really bad. And you're my teacher as a pony. <laughs> and if anyone knows him, that's just, it's just funny to see. My friend wanted me to draw her as a pony. I really, I learned how to draw ponies, and there's my character, Cassie. Um, I was going to draw her, like, as a Vocaloid. I don't know why. Let's see, that's it. This is going to be my poster for whenever I have my senior show. It's going to be Circus Thing. That's going to be me, but, again, it's, my, all my sketches are really bad. So, okay. And there's my... Central is a pony again. Or like should we don't. Okay. There's my OC Coralie. And she's got her little mask on. I have a mask that I wore for Halloween that looks a lot like hers and I was deeply inspired. Okay, I just got so much stuff. And maybe a part two if I can't mash them together my friend's character and mine as ponies. Let's get through some pages here. There's a lot of stuff. And there's the planning for my Monsters University character. She's a door designer. And she apparently sucks at it, so... <laughs> this form. Like, I drew these figures, but I don't know what to do with them. <sighs> I think that's it. And I think I did this randomly at night, and I do like Sailor Moon. Usually when the semester is ending, I'm on a big Sailor Moon kick. Uh, this is a preliminary drawing. My, um, I don't know where it's at. But my line quality improved so much. This is drawing two preliminary. And this is drawing one. So, yeah. That was 
she can help me. We had to trace things and trace some things that she would have us do that. Shadow drawings where we chase the shadow. Uh, this class is more about like line following. She really liked that one. Uh, perspective exercises. Perspective. 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 It's upside down. Perspective. Two point perspective. Two point. I drew the library, getting a little better, negative space, thumbnail. I don't know what else do I have. I'm going to show this one last. Okay, here is, I guess this one. I'll go ahead and touch this one. Drawings in class, who's Coralie again? The pretty half mask. I think that's it for that one. I do these like silly sketches. There's my character Cassie as a pony. Yeah, I do these silly sketches all the time. Uh, I didn't do anything in here. Don't like the paper, so I didn't. What a color than I. It's been a while since I've touched watercolors, so it looks pretty good. Still working on this crayon drawing. It's going to be called Atomic Bombshell. So I'm thinking about selling some of my stuff. Um, if you're interested, go ahead. Um, also doing art trades in Norell and SMC. I don't know what we'll be doing, so you know, just uh, we'll we'll talk about it <laughs> when I can. Uh, just, it's just been so crazy. Okay, now. This was for SMC Dates Contest. You guys remember. This is for Miss Doodle Girl, I think. And this is for Kibble K. You've seen it. That fell out. This is the sketch, and I was going to do it in Sharpie markers. Which, by the way, yes, you can. You blend well with Sharpies. I just didn't like the way it looked. Because it was too strong for me. Um, Ram Wynn and Magnet. Again, watercolor. Like, I'm really getting into it. I used some Copics. It's another watercolor of my character, Vanetti. And here's Coralie again. I'm really loving this character. And she has a naked lady on her arm. Because I wanted to draw tattoos on her. I think I'm going to use her as my ringleader. Or my circus thing. Here is Zoljin again. I need to finish her. Calculations are important. I drew a pony for someone on Tumblr. I drew their character. There's a pony. I drew my character Cherry. And it was more vent, more or less vent art. Let's see, I won't show that one. And for a group project, we were presenting the Lady of Shalott. So. It. I'm going to show one watercolor thing that looks awful. Again, like this, I don't know, this is just for stubbies, not like full on watercolor. So, oh, here's another one. This one looks better. I'm getting a lot better in my watercolor again. It's good because I missed it. Here's the color Perfect sketchbook. Sorry if this is going to be so long. This is Paprika. I really love that movie so much. It's just, it's the sweetest movie in the world. And there's that sketch that you saw. My, my friend's character and my character. Um, really got good at Copic markers. Like, you can tell the difference. The improvement between this and and this. So, my illust uh, the illustration teacher really liked my blending. What is this? And this is my Gaia avatar at the time. She's a pirate.
practicing the underwater thing. And there's my character, Hecate. And here is some fan art. Uh, Princess Bubblegum, Gumball, the Ice Queen. And this is uh, the child of the Ice Queen and Gumball. The shipping that I made. I made this, I you know, just for it. Her name is like... Mint tea. I have all the mint children in my oldest sketchbook. I think you've seen. And this is mint tea. She really likes to read a lot. So, but she is my character, even if she was supposed to be the child of those two. <laughs> There's perfume bottle sketch. Uh, Inktober sketches. I didn't really care for. And that. And I drew ponies again. My character Koala is a pony and my character Sagaki. Uh, what else? This is the brown paper one. See how cool it looks. Yeah. So I really need to get to work because this is due. This is all due next week. I think I'm going to go ahead and present this as one of my mermaids for my show. This is just what I do. My mother had an idea of a trapeze artist who had lost her wing. And because I didn't want to use watercolor paper, it sucks up the ink of your markers. And I'm too poor for that right now. So, yeah. It's on covered paper. Here's my clown. Creeps me out. I hate clowns. And here's my... Sorry, cut off. Um, you can see death in her ball. So it's really cool. Yeah, I really like this one. Um... I used opaque watercolors for her hair. And I used watercolor for her skin, some pencil, gel, you know, things like that. Um, I really like, like I would have done backgrounds, but the one that I did just didn't look like something that I would have done. Um, that looks to be it. I hope you all have a wonderful time and I can't wait to do art trades with Narelle and SC dude. We just need to discuss what's going on and what we're going to do. Um, I'm also open for collaborations um, after the 12th uh, because that's when the semester ends for me. Um, I'm really working hard getting these paintings done uh, for my mid for my finals and studying for English 204 and soon everything will be done and I will have so much time for you guys. I'm really sorry that this took so long there was just so much during the months that I had missed there's probably more but we'll just deal with it <laughs> um, so here I'm going to end it if you guys want a collaboration or anything like that just leave a comment down below or message me um, if you have an idea for a video I'm probably going to do some speed paints when I get home I will have the time to do them. If you'd like tutorials on things like Copics, um, pencils, things like that, there's going to be more tutorials. Um, as for my haul, again, please keep in mind that you can use absolutely anything and make fantastic art. Don't think just because other people have something that you absolutely need it. Yours, uh, you know, the tools, these, do not determine how good you are at something. That is entirely based on your skill. These just make the make it easier. Um, I definitely recommend going the harder route if you're just starting out. If you learn things, you you don't waste your supplies that cost so much. And you know you might find that you like something like crayons. I can't give up crayons. Um, here I'm going to end it because I don't want to just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Um, in short, you guys can use anything you want to make art. It is, it, it is not the tools, it is the artist. Um, again, if you want to learn, 
how to make one of these. Just send me a message and I will give you the download for my lesson plan and you can go ahead and read that. Um, le you'll learn some things about Turkish culture. Uh, you may not. <laughs> you'll just learn how to make sketchbooks that are nice. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Have a wonderful, wonderful time um, at the end of school. Fellow college students, good luck on your finals. Good luck on, you know, the last of your exams. High school kids um, and middle school, anyone else there. Uh, just good luck on anything, your endeavors. Um, I can't wait to have some real interaction with you guys during the break. I, I've really been looking forward to that. So, goodbye!